Four months ago, I started my journey with the aim of becoming a better cyclist. At the start, I did my first ever FTP test with a result of 190 watts. Since then, I've trained and I've taken up multiple challenges and I now estimate that my FTP is roughly at least 10% higher than at the start. It is now early April and I've just received an invitation from the University of Ghent to do my first ever VO2 max test. Doing this would allow me to figure out two things. First of all, my FTP in a professional environment and next to that, my VO2 max, which is basically the amount of oxygen that my body can consume during max effort. Thing is, we usually see professionals or good amateurs doing VO2 max tests, then I was wondering what would happen if someone like me would walk through the door and do one of these tests. What would the results look like? So, in the legendary words of Primoz, why not there? So I'm Kobe, I'm a, I'm a researcher and my research is mainly focused on cycling. So today you are going to perform a VO2 max test, which is actually a step test. Every three minutes we'll add 40 watts. So we'll start at 80 watts, 120, 160, 200, 240, yeah. until you can't go anymore. We will ask you questions, so a score from 0 to 10, how hard you perceived previous steps. We will take some lactate samples and we'll measure your oxygen consumption. And in the end we know your VO2 max, which is important to know when you want to determine your maximal capabilities as a cyclist. Before we dive into the VO2 max test, I need to talk about today's sponsor. Throughout the last few months, the Breakaway app has been an essential part of my cycling journey. From tracking my personal power records on the go, to being an active coach in my pocket. Whenever I want to go on a ride, the Breakaway app tells me which type of ride would be best. For example, an endurance and intensity or a recovery ride. That is very useful for someone like me, who doesn't want to spend hundreds of euros per month on a professional cycling coach, but still wants a top of the line training plan. Anyway, the best way to support this content is to support the partners that make these videos possible. If you want to try it out, click on the link in the description or use the code Benji Racing to get 25% off their yearly subscription. Anyway, back to the video. Yes, we started. So for the first time you can already turn your hands like this. I will just give you a small pinch, a small one, just like this. We just need a small blood sample to measure the lactate. So when the next step comes, don't over exaggerate with your yeah. cadence, but just be aware that the next step comes, so yeah. be prepared. Give me a score from 0 to 10 on the last step. 1. 1? Okay, yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> you need to fan already? How did it feel, the last step? About 2. About 2, yeah. Still going smooth? So far, yes. Okay, you can give me your hands. And a score from 0 to 10, how hard does it feel? About 3. About 3. Six minutes and a few blood lactate samples later, I ended up riding at 280 watts. And that's where it got troublesome. Now it's time to focus, eh? keep going. Eh? Go, 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 go. Well, increase that cadence a bit, yes, 80. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. Bad, bad, bad. Give it your all. Go, 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 go. Increase that cadence, increase that cadence. Come on. Go, 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 <laughs> go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, yes, keep going. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Try this one, try this one as long as you can. If you drop below 70, I stop the test. Okay, that's it, that's it, okay. Play let's go. I survived it. Yes. <laughs> this part. Wait, 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 what? This part. Yes, there's supposedly more to this video than just the VO2 max test and uh, I was worried because this man just saw me perish on a bike and thought, let's give him a 15 second sprint test now. Anyway, before we do that sprint test, let's take a look at the results of that VO2 max test. First of all, you're not so shit as you think maybe. Okay. Yeah. So these are the raw test results, so these are just your heart rate, the VO2, the oxygen consumption we measured, lactate we measured, the RPE, so the question on how hard you perceive the step. When we focus on this, the lactate values against your power, so yeah. the more power you push, the higher lactate gets. So what we're first looking for is like the baseline value. So the baseline value is as long as your lactate keeps quite stable, it doesn't cost you a lot. 
Yeah. You're burning some fat, you're burning some carbohydrate. It's a mix. As long as you eat, as long as you drink, you can perform that for hours and hours and hours. So the further that is, the higher that power output is, the more free energy you have, which makes it easier to cycle. So that's quite obvious. But basically your basic endurance is now around 140 watts, 1.2 watts per kilo. So that should feel like easy cycling. And actually that is more or less like the zone two people are talking about. And then the second thing we look at is, uh, there's a lot of terms for it, we call it the anaerobic threshold. At the power output, which increases your lactate that much, so you can't uh, hold on for much longer. So you have the baseline, then you see it starts to increase, and when it starts to increase a lot more, so when it starts to get exponential, that's where the turning point that FTP is. So we know my baseline value and we know my FTP, but we also know that my weight's pretty high. So obviously, while my absolute watts are okay, my watts versus my kilograms are not that great. And that's gonna get better the more I lose weight. But anyway, I'm also here to find out my VO2 max and I did not know going into this test that there's two types of that. We've got the absolute VO2 max and we've got the VO2 max relative to my weight in the same fashion as watts and watts per kilo. Anyway, let's hear what Kolba has to say. Your VO2 max is now around 3.8 liters, which is like better than average value yeah. compared to recreational cyclists, yeah. which indicates to us that when you would lose weight, but keep your muscle, you would actually perform well on the bike, also uphill. So okay. you have the capabilities to perform well. Also relatively, of course, it's 32.4, which is for the normal population is quite okay, but for the recreational cycling population, that is too low. That's taking into account your body weight. So if you lose only fat and you keep your muscle, that will increase exponentially a lot. When going through this process of becoming a better cyclist, I love having these data points, but I won't lie. I'm not sure how useful a single data point of my VO2 max is to me. So this will probably become more useful if, for example, in six months, I do another one of these and I figure out if that has grown. That being said, I promise you a 15 second sprint test. I've done one of these before. Then again, that was an AliExpress version of a sprint test, the 15 second sprint test that I done Zwift. That day, my result was about 869 watts for 15 seconds, speaking just above 1000 watts. Honestly, I'm expecting to do better here. Let's hope I'm better at this point after three months and now in a professional environment. A quick and important overview. You start to cycle low, low cadence. Yeah. When you reach 100, it will start automatically. You just start yeah. at 50, 60. When you're mentally ready, put everything in one explosion. You go as hard as you can, as, as quickly as, as you can. can, as long as you can. So don't focus on the time. Go, hop! Everything, everything, everything. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Keep on going, keep on going. More, 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 more. Almost there, almost there. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Okay, okay. Perfect. The average is quite high. So actually in a bunch print, you wouldn't do it too bad. <laughs> <laughs> These are my results and shockingly, my 15 second power is 1,081 watts. Next to that, my peak power was 1,342 watts. This is crazy because I never thought my 15 second power would be above 1,000 watts and especially close to 1,100 with a peak above 1,300. That's mad to me. In the last video, I promised you that I'd be climbing the outer quadrimon in this video, but in reality, I believe that deserves its own standalone video in the future. I've got plenty of videos coming, by the way. I've recorded loads of stuff, but it just hasn't hit YouTube yet. So stay tuned. The next months are going to be awesome. And I hope you all enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.